I might actually need the other cart. It seems to work a lot better with it. If I can get round the farm here. See, it's missing. For some reason it wants to spray the stuff over here. And still, no detection. This is a pain in the butt. Certainly running over a lot of the crop in this corner. Okay, keep going. I'll try to stay close as I can. Go. And now you're missing again. I think, I think the deal here, this is a, a mod trailer and it's not playing very well with this harvester. And, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to take us out the field here. Oh, here we go. Wow. closer. There we go. But we're going to switch to the Stroutman as soon as this trailer's full. I don't think we're losing anything, I just think we're uh, the harvesters having issue finding the target point for unloading. At least we started. And then once we're in the field main, it should behave a little bit better. But the, the, the Stroutman trailer is, is in-game designed for this task. And obviously works with in-game uh, in uh, equipment a little bit better than this one seems to be. This is where it gets a little bit tricky here. Uh -huh. Do your thing. Because oh. I now have to squeeze between the header and the hedge. And I don't want to hit the header because that will knock the harvester off track. And I don't want to hit the hedge because I'll get stuck. Right now, actually, it gets a little bit wider here, so that's good. If I get too far in front of the header, the, the harvester might say, Oh, you're in the way, I'm blocked by a thing. Anyway, it's working now, mostly. And we're full. Okay, so try not to run over the maze. Oops. And try not to press into the hedge. All good. Anyway. Okay, this is going to get interesting. I just hit a tree. This is part of the tree that's tree bits that are along the side of the other field. I don't know that I'm going to get out of here. No. Okay then. 
Time to kill trees. to go. Okay. Remove logs should be about three. Remove stumps also three. Okay. I should maybe be able to get the tractor through here. Uh, maybe not. I'll take that one out too. Remove logs. Yes, remove stops. Yes. Back. Remove chainsaw. Get in the tractor. Okay. So now should be a little bit easier to sneak this out of here without killing too much maze. So yeah, one of the options I do have for expanding this field is to expand to our left into our other maze field. I could do that. And we just got stuck on a tree. Yep. Move logs, remove stumps. I don't know what that glitch is with the easy development toolkit, but it's uh, it's been happening for about a year now. <clears throat> it's probably interference between one uh, um, one you know between a couple of mods. And because it's graphical, it's probably a memory uh, glitch. Okay, back in here, that small tree is going to have to go. Okay. Why can't I move my view? Let's do. Oh, that's not working. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take that one out and I'm going to preemptively take that one out. And. Probably that one, and that should see us clear. Logs three, stumps three. And the other reason for not doing anything with this wood is it's not straight, it's not valuable. It's a pain in the butt to load into a cart to take to the sawmill. So we'll just uh, lose the wood completely. Anyway, let's. Drive out here, that works. Yay! Okay, sunlight. I think the thing with maize, maize is a, uh, a much lighter um, or a much less dense crop. So we can fill these trailers up completely with maize by volume. Uh, grass is a very dense crop, very heavy, and in order to collect that, we're limited by trailer maximum weight on how much we can haul. Excuse me, except for another drink. Okay, I th think. I'm going to put maize in the second silo because we're not going to be coming back to it till January. But any grass we produce this month, we're going to be selling in the next couple of months. So keeping it closest to the uh, front is better. Uh, 
Twenty is fifteen and six. Let's put in fifteen minutes at home. Uh, none of those. Fifteen. Oh, it's that one. Okay. That one and that one. Yay. Taking a while to get loaded. And there we go. Okay. So I'll put this next to the hay trailer bail card. I'll go get the Stroutman because, as I said, that appears to be more um, forgiving when following the forage harvester. Make sure we get the right one because we have two of them. One has a pickup for grass, and the other one does not have a pickup because we have a forage harvester. Now, one of the things I could consider is doing all of the grass work with the forage harvester as well. If I did that, uh, I was going to say we could sell the mower. But no, I would keep the mower for um, mowing contracts. But I could get rid of the pickup um, forage wagon and just use this for everything. and find the forage harvester which is out there somewhere. So yeah this is this is an improved texture on maize which is included as part of this map so if I drive on the maize they lose the stubble. So um, doing the uh, mulching isn't an awesome uh, result a lot of the field doesn't get mulched because there's nothing left to mulch anyway here we are and he's already off so you see what I mean about it's much more reliable with this cart than it is with the other one this is actually the bigger cart 52,000 liters I think instead of 46 but with a lot of our grains we just don't have the um, the pickup or the, the weight capacity in this car the other one does we can carry more um, uh, what is it I'm stuck on a tree again um, we can pick up more um, wheat in the other cart than I can in this one okay trees problem Again, zip and remove the log. Yes, remove the stump. Yes, yes, yes I know. that's gone. The chainsaw. So, it, I don't know, is it worth pulling off this, uh, this corner as well? The advantage with deleting the corners um, or de making the, f the field bigger is that I will get more crop off it because I'm not rounding the corners quite so much or I'm not rounding as many corners should I say <clears throat> now my plan had been to um, expand this field into the one to our west we're about to be facing and not do the one to the east So I wasn't planning on joining this field to that field, but it's an option. It would give me three fields combined together. It would make that other field behind us a little bit 
easier to harvest. It's got a horrible shape, which we tend to get caught up on hedges. So, I don't know. We'll see how it all works out. But at the end of this field's harvest, I will be taking the hedge right in front of us out so that we can combine this field and the one next to it. Um, we'll have to redo the soil analysis on both of them when we plough them together. And then probably line, I think we line both of them when we plant. Oh, we normally plant grass after we've harvested the maize. We'll see. Nearly full. So as soon as we're full up, I will go. Um, I'm going to check the planting calendar. Oh, we're allowed to plant canola. September is when we plant wheat, barley, oats. Now, normally, what I have done in the past is plant grass in August. Got a couple of harvests out of it. I don't know. Okay. So let's talk this through. If I take the fields that we've now completed and just plant grass in them, they will be ready to harvest when my other grass fields are all ready to harvest too. But harvesting them is um, going to be if I harvest them then um, they're not going to add nutrients back into the soil when I cut them again. I would have to let them grow. Um, and the problem is, is the first grass cut of a year coincides with the maize planting season. So you have to basically cut the grass, collect the grass and get straight back into the field with a um, with field prep equipment and get it planted in the same month with maize. You can use grass as a cover crop, you just mulch it. So I could let it grow and then mulch it and um, plant maize in. That might be, might be what I do. If I plant grass there now, we'll get a winter cut. So we'll get the three fields to the right side of the farm as we're looking at them. The field immediately on our left. And next month, so September, I can plant barley in all of the fields that had maize in. I'm not going to have small fields of maize, I'm going to use those two, the two big fields for maize. Because we waste less of it by not having quite so many corners at the edges. Let's sneak this back here. See if I can remember the buttons. Uh, that one and that one. Oh, I got it right. So let me sneak forward while that empties and so much better. Okay. Yes, that means let's get this field cut. So if I'm going to put the bakery to use, I am going to need a some chickens with eggs. Don't need. I don't know that. Well, I might need big chickens, but we have enough room in the yard to make chicken stuff. Hmm. I will consider that too.
Now the field, obviously if I join these fields together, they're not going to be incredibly, um, they're not going to be square, but we're using coarse plays, so we shouldn't have too much problems just using, yeah. So long as we harvest them with coarse play, it's not going to be a problem for us. So the field immediately to our left did have oats in it, but the other two have... Did it have oats? No, it had barley in it. But the other two have corn, whichever way we go from here. So maybe planting barley. Barley's a cereal, so you kind of prefer not to plant barley on oats, but no, we'll do it. And then the really small fields that we have left, which I think I'm only going to have one small field there. I plough all the others together. Will be, uh, I'll put oats in. Or canola or... I think if we're going to need canola for baking, um, I should, obviously I'm going to need to buy the uh, oil mill so that we can make canola transfer it to the uh, bakery. I'll have to do a little bit more looking into that. I was also thinking of doing sugar at some point or at least sugar beets, not necessarily making sugar but hey maybe that would be a thing our, our farm can produce. So while we're on the field, this isn't this isn't really that slow. We're making seven miles an hour. It's a fair-sized header. We could go for a bigger forage harvester, but this is adequate for the moment. Then my plan for, I would take the hedge on the left side of this field off like we did on the other combo field. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I'm going to end up destroying a lot of corn on this field. Now, because we've got conservation farming installed, these corners that I haven't, when, where I haven't driven over them, um, they will add nutrients back into the soil. But I think the nutrients on that portion is maxed because it's corn, and corn is just a uh, a hog when it comes to uh, stuff. Okay, back to the yard. I think this, this tractor is a little bit faster than the case because the case has the tracks. I was kind of, I was thinking about replacing with the Axion 8 series with the 9 series, possibly with the Terra tracks. Um, but the case came up on the sale, so I just decided we'll go with the case. Because I, I, I don't use case tractors that often. I think in 17 I did use the 1450XL, which was 145 horsepower, older case tractor. And then in Farm Sim 19 I did make use of the 7200, which was the bigger old tractor that over 200 horsepower. I'm not sure if I've got either of them loaded on this game save. Uh, I don't commonly use modern case tractors. A bit like Fent. I'll use, I'll use the Fent Favorite 500 because it's a nice little cheap tractor. But when it comes to modern Fents, I tend to prefer the Massey Ferguson because 
for the same horsepower capabilities the Massey Ferguson costs less unless it's on sale I think I've used the Fen 300 Vario okay we're back here again that button, that button will cause it to empty okay let's have a look at what's for sale Still a fan favorite. Um, what's that? That's a windrower. Oh, don't know one of those. Um, I think we got that far. So there's a straw bale hacker. No, we've got that far. Big giant chaser bin. Oh, 900. That's a shame. Well, we got the. Uh, it goes 325 to 445 but we got the the case so that's what we have and then a slurry spreader okay so do i have giant tractors Volvo flat tractor this 14 oh 1455 so this thing i used in farm sim 17. <coughs> You only end up with a weight on the front. You can't have um, you can't have um, a three point. It's it's a nice little tractor, about 145 horsepower. Yes, so good. Yeah, it, it's an adequate starting tractor. I wouldn't say it's awesome. We also have an Airy 600, an Airy 500. Uh, Fent Farmer 300 5M and the Renault Aries which we did use on the farm for a bit going back into medium again not sure I have yes the 7200 Pro this thing will start at 170 and go all the way up to 261 so it's quite a capable starting tractor lots of horsepower does have a front a hitch um, it has a lot of wheel options. Um, that's your potato or sugar beet um, thing. Anyway, uh, you, and stuff, yeah. So those are the two cases I've tended to use more recently. Um, so hey, we've got a brand new one. Well, we've got a used previously used newer model which is different for me okay how are we doing 515 real time it is 11 30 i'm probably gonna have to call it soonish 